Hey guys, so I just finished my gym session for the day. Ready to go to South Africa in two days now. <laughs> Pretty damn excited. Anyway, so I'm on my way home now. And I thought I'd talk to you guys about my experience as a first time motorbike rider and a first time motorbike owner and all that kind of stuff. Why am I going so close? So, <laughs> yeah, that's another thing I'm going to tell you about. Um, I'm going to buy a, mic, a, a new voice recorder, but there's so many on the market, and I'd really appreciate it if you guys can like leave a comment or message me or something. Just like send me a link or just a recommendation on some sort of microphone that that is good and would would work well. It works well for a motor vlogger, like. Anything would be better than this microphone, but this one's <laughs> like you guys can hear. Um, but yeah, so leave leave a comment, and I'll have a look at what I can find for a good price. Like I don't want to get too expensive. That's the other thing. I want to stay pretty cheap, but good quality. Um, I will have a look around in South Africa if I see anything for a good price, because obviously dollars to rand is like ready nine grand per dollar so over there I might be able to pick up something for pretty cheap compared to over here in Australia but um, still guys leave me a comment and I'll have a look at what what seems like a good brand and good one to buy so please leave a comment also back on topic um, so I want to talk to you guys about my experience as a first time motorbike rider and what it's, it's more focused towards those out there who are thinking of buying a new motorbike as their first motorbike and going for their motorbike license um, I'll probably focus it more on on Australia like what it's like what it was like for me to get my license and motorbike and all that um, firstly I just want to say that getting a motorbike is something I don't think I'll ever regret it is amazing it is super fun it makes life a lot easier, especially especially if you're a uni student. Or even even if I was at school, like this would be amazing. Having a motorbike going to school. But for uni it is extremely good because of parking issues that uni has. There's so many students and limited parking and if you want to park near campus you have to pay like thirty eight dollars a day or something. So motorbikes have free parking so free parking on campus, like literally I park right outside my classrooms or lecture theatres and it's just it's so much easier, like fuel consumption is one of the big points, especially if you're a student, you don't have all that time to always go to work and earn money, you might just have a casual job like I do in like two or three nights a week. So I don't earn too much, like having a motorbike has saved me so much money when it comes to fuel because I still own a car and it's a big Toyota Camry, the 2007 model I think and man the thing is just heavy on fuel especially if, you, if you're a student and you know students don't ride like old people fuel consumption isn't always the best when you're in a car but man it's just crazy compared to a motorbike this is such a good buy to buy a motorbike if you want to save money but like going back to my experiences by riding a motorbike. Yes, obviously you are a lot more open to the environment, a lot more closer to being in danger, and not just any danger, the danger on a motorbike compared to a car is a lot higher and a lot more extreme in the fact that if you crash on a motorbike and crash in a car, you might not be injured in a car if you're lucky, and the same sort of accident on a motorbike, you are possibly dead. So, just being aware of, just yeah, you just have to be aware of, of the dangers out there and always, always look around at your surroundings, be aware of what's around you, especially the cars, because, man, cars, if you look at the statistics, it's pretty much cars that cause motorbikes motorbike accidents the majority of the time like unless you're being stupid on the motorbike you're pretty much safe 
unless you don't know how to ride. But if you're riding safely, doing everything right, following the laws, you are going to be very safe. Unless there's a stupid driver in a car, or a cager as we motorbike riders like to say, riding like an idiot. Because you get them, they run red lights, they do stupid things, and that causes harm to others. And they are normally the ones who don't get injured, and the people that they hit are normally the ones who end up in hospital or are dead. So, yes, going into motorbiking, it's a big decision and for the young ones out there who are just like maybe getting a license and going for a motorbike, don't be don't be mad if your parents don't want you to get one. Like because mine mine were a little iffy on it, like they don't still want me to get a motorbike, but the fact that dad's had a motorbike all his life and me being able to ride with dad and getting good experience, um, and being taught by him was great. Like they were, my parents were pretty, pretty fine with it. Like they weren't too happy about me getting a motorbike. They still don't want me even getting a bigger motorbike when I, when I'm able to upgrade. But they weren't like full stop. No, you're not getting a bike. That's final story. They were pretty cool with it. So I'm really happy about that and lucky. Because a lot of people aren't allowed having motorbikes. Like. I've had a couple of friends ask me all about like getting licensed and all about buying a motorbike and all that stuff like on Facebook and that kind of stuff and most of them are saying they're really keen, really keen, whatnot, and it's just trying to get their parents to agree on it. That's the big issue that a lot of them are having because parents obviously want to keep you safe. That's what parents do. So. Well, mate, just spin the big wheels on that bloody sport. Um, yeah, so guys, if you're going into motorbiking, I can really, really tell you, do it. <laughs> you will have a great time, the time of your life on a motorbike. And not just being, feeling, well, feeling the freedom that you get with a motorbike, you'll also feel like, um, not to sound cocky or anything, but you'll feel a bit cooler because like you have a motorbike, most of your friends don't. So there is a, there is a thing, there is a part where you kind of feel a little, a little unique in a way. But still, that feeling must not um, go straight to your head. Like you can't go out trying to show off and stuff like that because that's just going to put you in a lot of danger and you could potentially lose your life by trying to be cool. So, ride safe guys and enjoy it. Like, just go out there and try it out, see if you like it, and I'm sure you'll have a good time. If you don't like it, then tough luck. Like, it's, it's just probably something that's not for you. Go rather spend the money that you could save on a motorbike more wisely and put it towards buying a nice car or your study fees or your first home maybe like make it something worthwhile I think there was a cop just sitting there like watching my speed luckily I'm going the speed limit for once um, yeah so, so that's my bit of advice guys if you're looking at buying a motorbike getting your license do it you'll have fun but just be safe so yeah, that's, that's just my bit of advice for you guys. Be safe. I'm off. See you guys on my next vlog. See ya.